In this video, I will teach you the uh, basics of Python that you need to uh, start learning about add-on development for Blender. So uh, let's start off by going into the scripting workspace and let's add a uh, new script. And I'm going to increase the uh, font size. Let's set it to uh, 16. And then next, we can delete the cube and uh, press Shift A and add another cube. And then you can copy the text into the console. And let's change the uh, scale and location. As you can see, when we uh, press enter and run the script, and we have now generated a uh, new object. But uh, this time, the uh, location on the z-axis is changed, as well as the dimensions. Now let's try to add the code to the text editor and run it. So uh, copy the code, paste it in, and when you try to run it, you will see that it fails. And that is because we have not yet imported BPY, which is the Blender module for Blender functions and so on. And when we run the script, you can see that we now have the object. Okay, so now we know how to add objects. And uh, now we're going to go into the very basics of uh, Python programming. So let's start off by defining a variable, which is a way to uh, store values. So let's store the value three and then add it into the location. And uh, let's add it to the scale as well. And variables are very useful for editing multiple values at the same time, as you can see. So uh, next, we're going to add some uh, randomness to the uh, code. So uh, let's import the uh, random uh, function. So from random, import rand int. So uh, let's get random values between uh, minus 10 and uh, 10. So use the function rand int, and then parentheses at the minus 10 to 10. And then we still have the uh, variables in the uh, primitive cube function. And as you can see, we get the random location on the z axis every time we run the uh, script. Okay, so now we know how to add random values, which is uh, very important in uh, programming. and then press A, then X to delete everything. And then I'm going to save the project and you can save it where you want on the computer. And then select the folder, then give it a name and then save. And next we're going to add a for loop, which repeats a block of code multiple times, which is also very important for add-on development in Blender. So for I in range, and then we can repeat this block of code 20 times, for example. And then let's select the code below and indent the code. You can also press tab to indent. And by indenting, we put the code within the for loop. And as you can see, we now have 20 cubes with random locations on the z axis. And then we can do the same for all axes. One variable for each axis, so x, y, and z. And let's add that to the location. And when we run the script, you can see that we have cubes at random locations on all the uh, different axes. Okay, so let's press A, then X to delete everything. And then next, we can uh, take a look at the while loop, which essentially does the same thing, but as long as the condition holds true. So let's uh, add one to the C variable for each while loop so that it runs the code 20 times. So as you can see, it started with zero and then it added the uh, cubes until C was equal to 20. And then next, we can take a look at the if statement. So uh, if A is uh, equal to uh, one, we will run the uh, code below. So let's add a cube, for example, and use that code. And else, we can add a uh, monkey instead. So uh, if it's not equal to one, it will add the monkey instead. And because 
a is equal to 1, it's going to add the cube. Now if we change the uh, a variable, we get the monkey instead. If you want to add comments to your script, you can use the hash symbol, also known as the hashtag, and then you can write whatever comments you want to add to the script, and you're not going to uh, get any errors because of that line. We can also print text by using the print function. So let's print hello, for example, down in the console. And as you can see, it prints hello, and if we do it in the text editor, and then run the code, you can find the print under a window, and then system console. As you can see, we have hello. Okay, so uh, next we're going to uh, take a look at functions. So uh, you need to define a function first. So let's uh, define add things, and then two parentheses, and then we can add some code under uh, this uh, function. So let's add a uh, cone, for example, and then let's paste it into the script. And then next, let's add a cube and grab it a bit downwards on the z-axis, then copy the code, and I'm going to change the uh, location to minus 1.84. And then next, we can call the function and uh, get everything from that function with just a, a few characters. And as you can see, we have the cube and the cone. And we can add the function multiple times. And let's uh, change the uh, script slightly. So let's print a uh, few times. Oh, uh, let's uh, type in Blender is great. And then we run the uh, function. And when we go into the system console, you can see that we get the text three times. Now let's try to combine a for loop with a function so that we can save a lot of space. So uh, let's uh, do it like this. We can delete two of the uh, function calls and uh, let's just print Blender. Okay, and then we run the script and as you can see, we have now printed Blender 30 times. And these are the most important things that a uh, Blender user needs to know about Python before going into add-on development. And I just released an add-on development course to make it easier for you guys to uh, develop your own add-ons. And you will learn how to develop add-ons with input values, as well as uh, buttons with custom objects. Next, you're going to uh, learn how to import CSV and text files into Blender to create uh, visualizations and uh, so on. And this one has the uh, data animated year to year. And then you will also learn how to uh, write add-ons with uh, multiple scripts and then connect them all together. I'm also going to teach you how to uh, make drop-down menus like this one. And I will also show you how to use uh, custom icons and add them to your add-on. And then at the end of the course, you will use everything that you have learned to create a uh, complex music visualization add-on. And I'm going to show you the workflow to uh, develop more complex add-ons like this one. And you will get all this and uh, much more for a very decent price. And at the end of the course, I'm sure you will know how to uh, develop your own add-ons. So uh, make sure to check it out on Blender Market and uh, Gumroad, and I see you there.